Hello and welcome back to uh, Factorio Tutorials, uh, learning how to play the game. Now I'm about to start in on a um, the oil side of things. And before we do that though, we're going to need to set up a few things. Now I've been uh, just playing around a bit with this factory and, and refining a few things and adding things here and taking things away. You notice that I've doubled the size of my um, iron production. And I've also added in some steel. Now, what that's going we're going to need all of that steel very shortly. So I've just left that going for a little while. Um, I'll just run over here while I've got some coal and throw some coal in here. So I'm running low. So throw this wood away as well. Now, what we're going to need for the oil um, industry is plenty of pipe. So I like to set up a bit of pipe production, automated pipe production, because it'll save you um, crafting it by hand. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do a little build that kind of does it all within the same space and puts it all into one box so that when you come along, you can just click on the one box and pick up everything. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up two things. We're going to set up um, a control for how many normal pipe we put in. And we're going to set up a control for how many uh, how many uh, pipe to underground we put into the chest. Now, to do that, we're going to need this red wire. Now, I've only I've, I've been playing around with it a little bit for a little while now, and I'm starting to get a hang of how it all works. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to set up a red wire condition for um, this box. So what we're going to say is red wire condition, oh, we're going to go from the box, we're going to go back to the power pole to there. Now our red wire condition is if there is less than, say, uh, 50, We'll call it 100, greater than 50. Less than 100 in the box, we want it to work. Now right now this is actually waiting for this to get started. So this is going to work flat out. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to hook up this one. And this is going to have a red wire condition as well. So we're going to say less than 20. It'll work. We need to spin that around. And this will work as well. So what it's going to do is it's going to work until it has 20 of the pipe to undergrounds in the box. So we'll just watch it go and I want to make sure all of this is going to work. So there's 16. Eighteen, twenty. Now what it'll do is it'll just keep working for a little bit and put them into that factory, the piped underground factory, until it makes a couple and then it'll stop again. Now what it'll do is it'll flick over to building just normal pipe, like so. And it'll keep going until it reaches 100. Now we'll actually restrict this to 50 because that's all we're going to need. But that's a, a nice little build um, where you can can put it all into one box, and then when you want to come and pick a lot, pick up your pipe, you can just run up and control left click on that po box, and that'll get you everything you want. Then later in the game, you can actually upgrade this to a passive provider, and what that'll do is that'll add it into the robot robotic network, which is means that then you've instantly got um, pipe in your in your robotic network and you can you can request that to your to your person and then use that to build with. Now we've got our um, our pipe that we're gonna need. Now we're gonna need a few other things. Now first and foremost we're gonna need pump jacks. Lots and lots of pump jacks. Um, so I'll just run along here and pick up a bit of uh, iron So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight. So we need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one more. There we go. Now we're also going to need um, an oil refinery, and for that we're actually going to need stone bricks, which is something that I completely forgot about. So we're going to go down here and make that happen. Whoa. You probably only need 25. As that's going, we'll come up here and we'll also queue up um, a couple of chemical plants. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll queue up all five storage tanks first. Now, all this stuff takes a bit of time to build. Um, the other thing we're going to need is some assemblers because I'm going to run this this a certain way. Okay. Our pump jacks are starting to uh, be completed. <coughs> Bless me. Okay. So that's that there. And what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll grab all of our pipe and pipe to ground. Because we'll need that very shortly. Now I've just turned off everything up there. So I'll move this over here out of the way. Deary me, got a bit of a cold at the moment, so please excuse the uh, the funny voice. Now then, I reckon that'll go there. That'll go there. Need to grab some pipe. Mmm, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plumb it all out to a just a central location. Right, two pump jacks are ready. Okay, that's going to be in the way. And there's just a bit of fiddling around involved to, to get it all um, sorted out and working how you want it to. like that. Put down a pump jack there. Now unfortunately this is just going to be a big mess of pump jacks that we'll have to run around if we ever want to uh, move past this area. However it is what it is. We'll do that there. Storage jacks are still coming. Uh, the storage tanks, rather, are still coming. Put this down here. Put that down there. And we've still got one more to build. Okay, that there, and that there. And we can start uh, powering all of these now. Because this this will give us a fair fair bit of um, capacity when it comes to our oil system because the something else to remember is that the oil system is effectively uh, infinite you see it down the bottom right hand corner there it says 0 0.8 uh, oil per second what that means is that at the moment that's what it's going to put out this one's going to put out 0.7 now when it gets uh, gets a bit uh, older what will actually happen is it will uh, it will put out um, less and it will go down and down and down until it gets to point one, but then it will stop. Oil uh, oil derricks don't effectively uh, don't run out, which is um, which is great because then you can uh, basically just continue to um, to use that oil, and it's effectively limitless. Now what we'll do here is we'll place down one of these. And this is going to fill a crude oil barrel, just like that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a smart inserter. Actually, no, we're not going to have a smart inserter. Uh, what are we going to do here? Because what we want to do is we want to barrel the oil up and move it somewhere else. We want to move it, you know, up here, right out the way. I think, actually, that over here is going to be a really good idea. So we're going to make a, a storage tank here, and our other. There we go. So that's what we're aiming for. Now, um, what we'll do is we'll aim to get everything up here. There is our electric furnaces, which I'll need to switch over to shortly. Uh, let me just see what I need to research. Um, actually, I'll do that later. So what we'll do is we're going to run it over here and up there. And we need to do two things. Firstly, we need to um, create our oil barrels that we're going to put it into. I think that will probably do us. That's quite a few oil barrels. And what we're going to do is we're going to just have an input and an output. Is an underground belt I made earlier. Now there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. It means that we can get our all of our oil production out of the way because oil does take up a lot of room. It's just unavoidable. So if you can move it over here somewhat without using a ton of pipes it's very very handy and that should work okie dokie so that's that just like this now come over here we can power all this up there we go and that's how it works now what we'll do later on is we'll convert this to a uh, requester chest and change it into a bit more of a, a robotics-based system where it moves the uh, the barrels around using robots. And that allows for a very modular design when it comes to our oil system. But that's all working. Um, ideally, if I was playing this properly, I would set up a return loop where it took the, uh, the, uh, the barrels back. But we're not going to worry about that because I'm just trying to show concept and how to get the oil system up and running. Okay, okay. So there we go. There's our crude oil. The next thing we're going to need is a refinery. And now I'm going to need those, those steel bricks, uh, those stone bricks that I uh, reckon I forgot about. there like that and I do have something to power it that's brilliant so we, we're going to need 10 of them in the meantime though we probably should make some chemical plants up need some more copper ok that's all that sorted. Oh, 
Sprint K. So all of that's moving slow, slowly. Okay, there we go. There's our oil refinery. Now we'll come over here and put this down. Now ideally you place your oil near a source of water because you do need water later on in the in the process. Okay, nearly done. Now generally after you've you've cracked your oil down into the three parts prevailing wisdom is to break it into put it into some storage tanks because what you can do from here is uh, in effect create a bit more buffer storage we'll just well we need that actually up there where is our normal pipe we've used it all okay oil What we'll do is we'll go like this. Now I use a lot of pipe to ground, and the reason for that is it just makes moving around much easier. And as the game develops and you get further into it, you do want the ability to run around quite quickly because if you don't have it and you need to go around, you'll just get frustrated. And the less frustration in this game, the better. Okay, there's that, and there's that. We'll hook these up here and here. So there we go. We've got our three constituent parts of oil. So it'll crack it down into heavy, light, and uh, petroleum, which we can then use to do things with. And you'll notice that the barrels are quite effective for moving uh, the oil around. But you can you can move a big amount of oil quite quickly. Now the next thing we'll do is we're going to set up um, sulfur production, and we're going to set up plastic production, and eventually batteries. So all of these things require different uh, parts to them. Now over here, I haven't actually planned this very well, I don't think. Because it looks like there is no coal. Here's a little bit. So we'll use this little tiny bit of coal to run our plastic with. I've got another burner miner. Oh, sorry, another mining drill that I can use. Oh, that would be right. Whoa, that's a little bit spastic. Okay, and we're going to go over here with it. I'm going to do stuff. So this is quite close to that, but that's okay. So we're going to use our coal and petroleum gas to create our plastic. You don't actually need a lot of coal to do this. Like It's only a, a very small amount. But as you go on, you will need more and more. Whoops. 
Okay, so that's that sorted. What we'll do is go a pipe to ground. There we go. Now that's plastic sorted. Now you'll notice that it does build it quite quickly. Right here. So the next thing is our sulphur. So we'll do that here. Now sulphur requires an extra part. Oh, that would be right, wouldn't it? And that's water. So what we'll do is we'll actually come over here a little bit to a place where it's easy to get water to. Queue it up. And now we know where we need to put it. So I'll just go over here and grab some more pipe that's been building for us. Grab that. Okay, now that offshore, here it is. what we'll do is we'll put it into a tank because now we can shoot it different ways we'll shoot it up here and get it involved in the oil refinery that's a, a little bit later when we get advanced oil refinery okay so that's that there now what we need to do is do a pipe ground just like that now we can hook them up, and there we go. We've got both, both sorted. Get some more power poles, so we can uh, sort that out. Now sulphur is a is actually a solid, so when uh, when it comes time to move it, you actually need an inserter. Now the next thing will be a um, something like this. Now what it will do is it will take the sulphur that we're making. Actually what we need to do here is we probably need to do it properly. Create a box. And this will do our sulfuric acid. Now our water that we uh, we kindly supplied for ourselves earlier is already here. So it's just a matter of plumbing it up, and that will get that working. But we also need um, some iron plate. Now the closest iron plate is over there, so we've got two ways of doing it. If we're going to do it the proper way, we would uh, put it on a belt and get it over here so that it would work all the time. But we'll do it the lame way to start with, just so I can demonstrate the idea behind the oil system. And so you can watch me build, build my way through it. Okay. So there we go. That's now creating sulphur. Now sulphur is a liquid, so we need to put it into a tank. Just like that. Now that sulfuric acid we will use for batteries, which are very important for defences, namely laser turrets, and a few other bits and pieces. So what we need to do next is create another chemical plant. do that when I grab some more raw resources. You'll notice that everything's ground to a stop at the moment and that's because I'm not researching anything so those those end products aren't being used. So chemical plant. Okey And 
and this is for batteries. Now again, if we were doing it properly, we would get uh, both copper and steel onto our conveyor belt and get them over here so that this can just run constantly. However, I'm just demonstrating what you need to do to build this part of the, uh, the logistics uh, network. Now there we go. That is going to build batteries for us. And what I'll do is I'll just output that to a box. We will learn. I'll uh, create another box just for our, our plastic because we're going to need this shortly and that's all working. So there we go. That is how you get the uh, the first bit of the uh, oil uh, network up. Okay. So firstly you get it out of the ground using pump jacks and then you either pump the crude or uh, barrel the crude like this, so barrel it or pump it out to your oil refinery. Generally you want to place it in a good spot where it's away from others and you've got room to expand it. Once it's here, whoa, you do not shoot the uh, storage tank because that is full of crude. <laughs> you put it in the oil refinery, it'll crack it down to its three constituent parts. Something to bear in mind, you will need to put some sort of draw onto these two things, otherwise they'll fill up and stop your petroleum usage. Once uh, you've got your petroleum going, you can craft plastics, just like that, by using the petroleum gas and coal. The petroleum gas also is used for sulphur. So you bring in the petroleum gas and the water, and that will create sulphur. From sulphur, you take it and you put it into a uh, sulfuric acid chemical plant along with some iron plate and some water and that will turn it into sulfuric acid. Once you've got the acid it's a good idea to uh, to use a storage tank I think uh, because it does give you a little bit of uh, buffering. From there you put it into yet another chemical plant and that will make your batteries along with iron plate and copper plate and that will get you uh, all the way to laser turrets. Thank you for joining me in this uh, this uh, episode of, of uh, Learn to Play Factorio. I hope you'll join me for the next one.